So then, okay, so there's that part. So then if I want to change something, then I, like, I don't want, want to really be able to water that fall much, do I? And I don't necessarily want to go this way to Key West. That's, a, that's over the Everglades or nothing that way. So I might want to change one of things. So I might want to just cap it, move it over here like that. Like that, like that. Or maybe something like that. And I can either pick an intersection or whatever it is there, Boca Raton Airport sounds like a good idea. And it will, now I go back to my flight plan, it will have inserted that into the flight plan, right? So you can just drag and drop it. You can, it's called rubber banding. You can do whatever you want. So that's kind of the way we do it. I just want to show you that's a feature, right? <laughs> also in my flight plan, I chose an altitude. What? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'll show you. A 3,500 feet is what I pick right here. You can pick whatever you want. But uh, you, you can just tap it and change it if you want to. And you can make it VFR or IFR. The bottom you see an option to do VFR or IFR. Then it will, that's uh, VFR. So an IFR will have just the IFR. So there's that. Okay, so we got that. All right, so just as a basic flight plan, let me show you some of the other features that I was going to show you within Fourth Life for the advanced stuff and for teaching. If you're a teacher, you'll like this. But even if you're not, I think you can really appreciate how how you can get a really good go no go decision pretty quickly with four flight. So a couple things. Let's let's look here. What just a few more stops along the road. So suppose that you your student has this flight plan. They've designed it and they want you to review it. Well, how are they how are you going to do that, right? So do you have their you look at their iPad? No, you can you can actually send your flight plan to somebody else. Mm -hmm.